of the music now because uh, I'm getting serious here and um, yeah, I've been knocking on your door, Dr. Zetter, and uh, no reaction. And uh, you know, I have this guy now from Scotland, he keeps sending me emails and you know, every morning a poem and, and um, you know, beautiful words. I love you and I want to be with you and the wind is, uh, is blowing your name and, and you know, it should accompany you, beautiful things like that, you know, and uh, all empty words. And um, because um, when it really comes down to it, um, he's actually willing to share his story and, and his feelings about his late wife and, you know, how he wishes um, for his daughter to be cared for and you know, he's looking for a stepmom and, you know, I'm not it. and. Uh, um, because I have two children, you know this, and um, um, we have a history together, um, Dr. said to you and me and my children, and you know, it's a threesome, and uh, you know, I learned that um, three is always bad, because uh, one's left out, and uh, there has never been a direct uh, communication between the two of us, and uh, I live in Germany, my children live 6,000 kilometers away from me and you know, um, Annika once told me, um, my daughter, the one who works for you, mom you have really lousy comebacks and you know, I really come back lousy then uh, stay here for the rest of my life. So uh, um, this being said, you know, I uh, will not, you know, go back to everything but I made a, a list because you know, when somebody dies, their life kind of passes before them and I feel that. You know, um, with all my children, I feel dead. So um, I just go to the most recent things that have happened. And so, you know, um, why am I actually legally guarded? Uh, I've been told that Daimler arranged for this, you know, to happen. And then I've been told that uh, it wasn't Daimler. Then I've been told that my family twice went, you know, to, to get me guarded legally. and. Uh, so I, s I went to my family and said, you know, tell them not, you know, that, that you don't, don't wish for this to happen. And I also, you know, contacted your officers. And uh, then I've been told by the doctors that no matter what you say or my family says, you know, I still will get guarded. And I wonder what for, because uh, I'm uh, perfectly healthy. And, you know, um, the last time uh, it became serious is when I went to a dentist and was told that I was going to uh, that I'm at risk at killing myself because I'm willing to undergo uh, implant surgery and uh, so uh, this was retracted although I did have to go through the motions of uh, going to a psychiatrist have myself checked and you know I spent 10 minutes with uh, the psychiatrist and read a statement telling him that what he's doing is uh, uh, against every human right on earth and uh, you know I spent about 10 minutes with him basically reading my statement and then saying you know this is all I'm willing to share with you and then based on my past history which is with you I keep getting guarded so I don't believe that Daimler has nothing to do with my legal guardianship and you know you know for well what I'm here for um, so you know this uh, doctor told me that I, I am schizomanic and now from my legal guardian, I'm being accused of being psychotic. And um, just as it, as it fits, I'm also bipolar. And, you know, the only diagnosis in mental illness that I have not yet been put on is borderline. And that's what I'm trying to crash, you know, our borders. Because if we don't have borders, then, um, you know, I, I read about this, that, you know, if people are allowed to actually move freely in the world, um, it's really just the ones that are interested to, to make a change. They are the ones that move. And, you know, there's a reason why so many um, people um, escape their country. And I believe that we can do something about that. Um, now, um, I, I, made, I made a list of things, you know, that, that have happened here. You know, my bike was stolen four times in the last year in front of my uh, building. And uh, um, I feel it's not a coincidence. And, uh, you know, um, I went to the police and was told that, uh, you know, they every difference that I have with my legal guardian, who's now not willing to pay for another bike, even though I have the money, um, I have to go back to him because, you know, um, he is put on top of me to control me. And if I have a problem with him, I have to solve it with him. Only, you know, um, I divorced my, my husband for the exact same reasons the way, you know, I, I really don't get along with this guy because he's controlling my life 100% and I have no insight. I am not allowed to see anything that's happening to my life. 
every information is sent to him, I pay for it. Now, I don't know how legal this all is, and uh, you know, you, Dr. Tsetsi, I'm trying to get in touch with you. You have something to do with this. Um, so, you know, I will point the finger this time. I also leave it open because, you know, I'm here to crash borders um, for reconciliation and not in silence, not in ignorance anymore. So uh, um, this is the nice way, uh, my nice offer. Um, I will go into detail and I will put it on YouTube of all the things that you have done against me through my children. Well, I might as well do it right now. Um, you know, for Daimler Security Department in Stuttgart to contact my children in America to tell them to you know tell them to tell me in Germany not to get in touch with you in in uh, in Stuttgart is a very cockeyed way to uh, communicate I'd say and uh, um, I was told you know my, my children don't talk to me because I contact you now my children are adults and have nothing to do with me I have no idea what relationship you see in in you know uh, my children and you and I was told that my children you know, did this, they followed your, your um, forcing them basically, you know, because they had a choice. They could, they could tell me, you know, don't contact Dr. Tsetsche or they could not do it and then they were in fear of losing their job. So do you see how this is, you know, not quite proper and, you know, I was told here too that goes against every legal law that exists in Germany and, you know, you went to America and unless we have global law, I'd say something is terribly wrong with what happened back then and I would like to settle this I would like to talk about this because you see things are happening here and just because you don't take the time and, and you don't even ask somebody to take the time to spend some time with me to prove it to you doesn't mean that it's not happening um, I am following basically my gut and things that are happening here to me and there is something that can turn off my my Mac and it has to, it has turned it off for about like four or five days now I was not allowed to to take any pictures or make any clips like this it was off um, I don't check these things then either I do check every now and then if it's on again well you know now after about four or five days it was um, it's on again I did nothing nothing to it and this is not the only program this happens to this is how well, I, I will not even say it anymore, but I'm, f I'm following what, what's happening um, even in the technology. And you do have, um, what are they called again, hackers, right? You have, you know, there are hackers out there. Well, take a hacker and check, my, check the timing in my computer and then also have them check all the things that I did to it. Because I did nothing to have it back, you know, turned back on. Something happened inside of it, and I'm sure that can be sh can be checked and investigated, because this is proof. Now you don't believe me that I healed um, a Brima in in uh, in Africa, because you say, well, doctors sometimes make a mistake by saying, you know, you have one day to live and then people keep living. Well, great, you know, uh, but they don't make any mistake in in all the diagnoses that they that they put on me, uh, and and you know. Um, my legal guardian actually told the court that I'm suicidal. Well, he, he pulled everything back. He even pulled back the, you know, forcing me to go to the hospital. Now, the doctor said that, you know, treatment will change, you know, will help me. Um, and Mr. Bruns wrote that treatment will not help me. So there's a lot of contradictory, contradictory um, information being said about me. Why is that? And could we come out in the open now? Because I know there's a system in place that does not allow a doctor to, um, you know, when, once he knows that there's a, a, a mental illness history, to say that this person is cured. Because mental illness is a lifelong disease that cannot be cured. So if a doctor states that I'm healthy, he's at risk of losing his license in the, in the present system. And what is mental illness? Now, I can explain everything has a has a source even the people where you say you know but they're, they're really crazy and the way they act you know that we have to control them well even them even them they have a source there's a reason why people drink alcohol there's a reason why people take drugs now they have different types of of pains and and you know these are, are drugs alcohol is also a drug that um make us feel different different ways so if somebody feels you know depressed that person will probably um, 
I have no idea. You know, there's there's studies out there. They might take a, a certain type of drug and and you know don't they, they eat, eat you know um, hallucinatory um, or I don't know what they're called mushrooms and and you know uh, cannabis and and uh, um, they 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 take different things you know to make them, to give them that feeling that they're missing to make them feel good. Um, and again, there's a source for that. And once we start talking about that source, that pain, once we talk about that, we will cry. And crying is our natural valve to release pressure and stress. You call that stress. It'll all disappear. And then people will feel good about themselves and everywhere. And then people will come to work and they will come to work with pleasure. And, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, we need to like, spread you know open the doors and give everything to everybody step by step only we do need to get started and you know i i am i'm really frustrated um at this ignorance because uh i have tried everything you know i've tried humor i've tried provoking you i've tried um you know um, romantic poems i've tried to talk over, you know about your your personal life you know try try to put it into perspective with your company and the world and your family, you know, I'm at a loss. I don't know what it what it takes. Now I know that you think that I'm that I'm crazy. Um, so what does it take, you know, for you for for you? I'm I'm talking. You think a crazy person could could hold a talk like this? Um, and I know I'm 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 going from from one to the other because everything is connected. So where do I get started? You know, to show you that I'm looking at the big picture. I also know how to handle my my daily life. I just clean my apartment, and you know I'm ready to move. Actually, you know it's all perfect, as perfect as it can be. Um, I have now um, this this implant um, operation coming up. I'm not allowed to earn my own living. So you know once that's done. I have no more money and I just don't believe that that's fair. Now I'm wearing the top of uh, uh, my shirt actually because that's the colors you know that I wear in that picture only it does say your name Dieter and this is like an upside down um, I'll take it off for you an upside down um, violin and so um, this would be me wearing your passion. And this is a little bit classic and kind of fits my new my new clothes you know it's it's the fashion and if you prefer that you can have this if you are however willing to go you know look over the border a little bit cross the border and and smash the borders this would be you know the 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 colors of uh, pamiki land pretty much and it says my name on it and you know my passion is your cars and you know, they, they say that, you know, he or she who, who saves one life saves the world entire. So, you know, you're not saving my life, but maybe I can, or I, I may save yours. <laughs> now, this would be my, you know, my best offer <laughs> to you, I'd say. And uh, um, I hope that I don't have to go to the police and, you know, take the legal way, although I am prepared to do, to do this now, too. And I'm not really sure if, uh, you know, if, if even that will hold, because I believe that all the things that have happened to me, there's something secondary going on here, it's secondary protocol, because all the things that have done to me, you know, people say, like, I've never heard of such a thing. And me neither, I can't believe this is possible. But then, of course, you know, I come also with some knowledge that is, that is crucial. And so, you know, I will understand all of what has happened, and I will forgive everything, only I do want to bring this out now and I feel also that this is pushing me to to push you a little bit and you know I'm not here just to push I'm also here to pull you know um, and reach down because you know I have a lot of knowledge and I'm willing to come down and and level with you um, only don't keep me down there um, because uh, you know then I'll explode because I, I have this knowledge and and to just put it you know and, and hide it what for you know, if it if it if it is so much good for everybody, you know, and holds so much potential. So thanks for listening. Thanks for your time.